Good afternoon world, this is S. Gold back with the fifth installment in my software video series. Today is September 1st, 2017. Here where I am in California, today's predicted high is 105 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 41 degrees Celsius, but still awfully hot. While I salute those who are outside battling wildfires today, I'm happy to be in my apartment where it's a comfy 21 degrees Celsius and working on another demo video for Mod, my editor for animated 3D models. I've made a lot of progress since my last demo video, which I believe was in May. Um, today I want to demonstrate the use of Mod to retarget animations from one model to another. Welcome to Mod. First, a quick review of the user interface. At startup, mod looks like this. Um, there's a, it loads a built-in model called Jamie, and you can rotate the model using the A and D keys. Um, you can view it from all different directions. Um, these red dots that you see on top of the model are called bones. You select a bone with the right mouse button, and um, each bone has three axes. Uh, and you can rotate a bone by, um, rotate the selected bone by uh, dragging one of the axes with the right mouse button. You can also load animations. Um, here's one called Taunt. Uh, to pause the animation, press the period key. To restart it, press the period key again to resume. Um, so animation retargeting means translating an animation from one model called the source model to another model called the target. Let's start with a simple case. So I happen to have this model called Nan, um, which I'm, I'm working on. And unlike Jamie, uh, Nan isn't built into Mod. In order to load it from the file system, I have to first tell Mod where Nan's asset root is. Um, you set the asset root locations from the settings menu. So select uh, Settings, Asset Locations, Add, and then uh, the drive that contains the root, and then the name of the folder, and then you say Add this folder. Now when I say Model Load, Models Load, there's this folder called S colon Assets. And that's where NAN is located. There's uh, Nan's J3O file, and I'm going to load that. So uh, Nan uh, was made using the Make Human application. I've uh, managed to give her a few good animations. Um, here's one called Shivering. I'm going to press period to play the animation. That's what a typical animation might look like. Um, here's another one called uh, Chug. Yep, it's a good day for kicking back and drinking beer. Um, and there's a third one called Dance. After you've had a few beers, you can dance like this. Okay, so uh, what I'd like to do is uh, retarget some of these animations. Now, each animation is uh, made up of uh, tracks. Um, using the back tick key allows you to actually change views. So here's what I call the score view, um, which actually shows what the uh, animation looks like um, in 2D instead of in 3D. Um, so the tracks are stacked up like a musical score. Um, here's the root bone track, the pelvis bone track, the spine track, and so on. And uh, time progresses from left to right. So I start the animation again, and you can see uh, the animation in 2D. Or there's a third mode where you can view uh, both views at once. Now what we want to do is retarget some of these animations to another model called MH Game. Like Jamie, MH Game is built into mod, so you can load it from the model menu without having to specify a new location. Um, models, load, 
wrong class path, MH game. There he is. I'm going to go back to uh, just regular scene view for a bit here. Okay. Um, so again, uh, this was made with uh, Make Human. Um, it's got actually the same skeleton. Make Human has this thing called the Game Skeleton, which I use for both these models. Um, hence the name, Make Human Game. Um, all 53 bones in NAN are also an image game, and the bone orientations match pretty closely. So uh, animations I made with uh, NAN, t NAN should work with image game. But poor image game. Select the animation tool. And you see he's just got this one animation. Expert lib pose. And it doesn't even do anything. It's one second long, and you can't see anything. So um, let's uh, take MH game and uh, teach him how to chug a beer. So the way you add an animation is you go to the animation menu, and you click on Add New, and you select Retarget, and it brings up this special tool called the Retarget tool. So I have both tools visible here. Um, so you can see we've already got our target model loaded. That's MH Game. We need to load a source model, and uh, that would be Models NAN2, NAN2.j3.0. She is. Uh, and then we uh, need to um, load the source animation, and that's chug. And we can preview it just by starting up the animation with the period key. The only thing that's missing is we need instructions for mod on how to copy the tracks. Right now, um, there aren't any instructions. And um, these instructions are called bone mappings. And no bone mappings. Zero bone mappings. Um, and without any bone mappings, mod isn't going to let you retarget the animation. Um, in general, you'd need a different skeleton map for each pair of source and target skeletons. But in this case, since the skeletons are so similar, we can use what's called an identity map. And to load an identity map, we click Load. Um, no, no. In the animation tool. No, we need another tool. We need the mapping tool. Where is the mapping tool? Map tool. We're going to load uh, identity for source. So now we've got 53 bone mappings loaded. Uh, every bone in NAN2, or 53 of them anyway, I think that's all of them, maps to uh, MH game. Now, mod allows you to preview how a retargeted animation is going to look. Um, the way you do that is you load this bogus uh, animation called retargeted pose onto the target model. So retargeted pose does that for me. And now you can see MH game is mimicking the actions of uh, NAN. In fact, if I stop it, I can go and directly modify NAN's bones, and the modification is immediately reflected in the retargeted pose. Okay, go back to playing the animation here. Um, the rest is a little anticlimactic. Um, here in the retarget tool, we click on retarget. We confirm the name for the new animation. We'll use the same name. And um, look, now they're out of sync because uh, the target model, MH Game, is playing his own animation, chugging a beer. If you uh, look in the uh, animation tool, you'll see there are now two animations. There's expert lib pose, and there's chug. Let's do another one. Uh, source animation, dance. Retarget it. Oh, yeah, retarget it. Oh. And look at him. Look at him go. MH Game is now a dancer. Well, we're done with NAN2, so I'm going to unload NAN2. A little distracting having her dancing there. 
models, source model, unload. All right. But I'm not completely satisfied with MH Games dancing moves. Look at that. His feet are not touching the, the ground. That's very bad form in dancing. Um, but it's a common issue with mod. And it happens because mod's retargeting only copies the rotation portion of each bone track. Um, foot support is typically maintained using the translation portion of the root bones track. Root bones track. Um, and uh, happily, mod provides a tool for fixing this. Um, first, you select the root bone. That's this bone here. Um, but you could also select it using the menus. Um, and then from the track menu, we select translate for support, option nine. And now, his feet are back on the ground. And it's a little easier to see if we go to a horizontal view. Uh, numpad one, I believe, does that. Those feet are really on the ground. You can see it. Um, now that that's done, of course, I want to save the modified model. So models, save. You notice that the path being selected for the save is this thing called written assets folder. Um, I loaded MH game off the class path, if you recall, and I haven't figured out a way to write assets to the class path at runtime. So I'll use uh, the written assets folder instead. That's fine. Click save, and it's saved. Now, for a more sophisticated retargeting example, I'm going to retarget an animation from Jamie to Sinbad. Both these models are built into mod. Um, so model load source class path Jamie model load class path Sinbad and um, thing about this is uh, Jamie has uh, 108 bones including a tail <laughs> and uh, Sinbad has a different set of bones, 69 bones, um, and their their bind poses are different. They're both both models are currently in bind pose, but uh, Jamie's got his arm straight out in a T pose, and Sinbad has a slightly more relaxed pose with the legs spread, the arms lowered a bit. Um, so they're really very different skeletons, um, and that means the skeleton map from Jamie to Sinbad is non-trivial. Luckily, Mod comes with a built-in skeleton map called Sinbad to Jamie. So if I go into the map tool, or just load it directly from class path, Sinbad to Jamie. So now there's 52 bone mappings loaded. Um, but Mod is complaining. If you go into map tool, you'll see that Mod's complaining because it says only 2% of the bones match. <laughs> Only one of the bones matches, uh, and that's because uh, it's backwards. The loaded map maps Sinbad to Jamie, but we want to map Jamie to Sinbad. And uh, so we check the use inverse box, and now Mod is happy with that. 53 bone map, 52 bone mappings still loaded, and they're all valid. Um, we just need to load the animation. I'm going to load Taunt. And uh, again, click the retarget button twice, and voila, Sinbad is taunting. Um, bring him around so you can see the front. To keep this video short, I'll stop here. Uh, in my next video, I hope to demonstrate how to create a map from scratch. Uh, if you want to try mod out, the project homepage is at github.com slash Stephen Gold with a PH slash mod M A U D. I need testers. I mean it. I invite you to try it out and send me constructive feedback. I want to make mod as useful as possible. And for that I need users. Alright, for now this is S Gold signing off. Have a great day. Stay cool and sweet dreams tonight. <laughs>